What's up, y'all? She Hawk, episode four and five review. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so first off, episode four. She goes on a string of dates and shit. And then her friend, like, it should be Tatiana Walters. You know her real name. But she's like, nah, it should be She Hawk. Her friend telling her it should be She Hawk and shit. So she does Tatiana Walters and, like, she gets no matches, no dates or whatever. But as soon as she switches to uh, She Hawk, she starts getting a lot of dates and swipes and clicks and shit. Then she goes on a string of dates, like I said. I gotta say, it's pretty weird and awkward, them string of dates. Uh, but it was like, it was pretty funny. Like, she bring a dude to the crib, and then, like, in the middle of them finna kiss, Wong pop up through a portal and shit. And then, like, she goes on, like, a side quest. <laughs> she start killing demons and shit. Her and Wong killing these demons. Then she pop back up through the portal and start uh, kissing dude or whatever. Then when dude wake up in the morning and see the regular version of her, he's not too fond. <laughs> Just say that he, uh, yeah, he like he like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a head out I'm a head out. Uh, so I guess he only feeling the Seahawk version of her, which is very unfortunate. Uh, but you know. It is what it is. Uh, then, um, yeah, and then these, these are some pretty short episodes. Like, these episodes don't be no longer than 30 minutes. And then, like, I don't even know. Everybody know about the, the fucking, uh, the twerk scene with her and Megan and Stallion. I don't even think I, I reviewed episode three. Oh, well, I'm going to just skip over it. Whatever. I'm sure y'all seen it. But then, episode five. Pretty fucking boring, if you ask me. She's, she's like, oh, yeah, episode four again. My bad. That that drunk lady is funny. A little drunk white lady and shit. She funny. She, you could tell that she's drunk. She obviously probably acting drunk. Not really drunk, but it's funny. The way she acting. It's pretty funny. Uh... And then she like beats her case and shit. And whatever. It's like a fake magician trying to be a magician, trying to copy Wong, be Sorcerer Supreme, or whatever. That episode was cool. But then this week's episode was number five. Uh I gotta say it was pretty boring. She beats her case and shit, blah 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 blah. Over the She Hulk uh name. Because uh, Titania is suing her because she got, like, a makeup product she trying to sell with the name She-Hulk. But, uh, uh, yeah, so she tried to trademark it, and she, she, uh, Tatiana got the papers. I said Walters. I mean, Tatiana Missilani. Damn, I think that's her n real name. Yeah, it's Jennifer Walters as She-Hulk. My bad, my bad, my bad. Anyways, like I said, uh. Episode pretty boring. I ain't gonna lie. She, she spent the whole episode, like I said, uh, she beat her case. Then she trying to get the suit made for when she transforms to She-Hulk and transform back. She need like regular clothes type shit. Uh, but that cameo at the end though, you already know who finna come. Daredevil. They showed a Daredevil suit at the end. Uh... Now I gotta say, I'm not that excited. This show is low-key ass. I'm low-key just watching it just to review it. This show is low-key ass. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. I'm enjoying it, kind of. I'm gonna like a six and a half, seven out of ten. It's not the best show. It's not the worst shit i ever seen. I'm getting used to the CGI. Shit like that. But yeah, I'm... I missed last week's episode, I think, so I'm gonna just skip to four and five. Whatever. I seen number three. I don't even remember shit. This show is so like it's like fast food. It's like you watch it, then you just you barely remember after. Like I don't know. But 
I am watching House of Dragons too, so let me know if y'all want to see a review on House of Dragons. I really don't know the Game of Thrones lore, but you can watch House of Dragons without watching Game of Thrones. But yeah, uh, She-Hulk, what y'all think about it? Are y'all watching it? Are y'all keeping up with it? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it whack? Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, man, like, subscribe, do all that. Y'all have a good day. Let me see if there's anything else I want to touch on. Yeah, like I said, I'm getting used to CGI. I wonder where where uh where the actual hawk been at during these last couple episodes. Um, last time they showed him, he was in that spaceship. So I wonder what he's doing. But yeah. Maybe they want to focus on She-Hulk, not the actual Hulk. But yeah, uh, like I said, they showed the Daredevil mask, helmet, whatever, at the end of uh, this episode. Um, and I'm not really excited because, like, I never was a big Daredevil fan. I mean, I never watched it, so I can't say if it's good or bad. I think I seen the Daredevil movie that came out in, like, 2007, if I'm not mistaken, or probably older than that but i seen the daredevil movie i don't remember it everybody say the netflix uh uh the netflix show is so good because it's like gory or whatever like i said i think marvel could do good with like some gory shit like shit like the boys i don't like the boys really i just can't get invested to the uh the characters and like shit like that it's so time consuming it feels like a chore sometimes to watch tv shows i'd rather just watch a movie Cause just one setting, boom, you're done. But to catch up on a TV show is kind of hard when it's like already three seasons. That's so time consuming. I got work and shit. You no know, my uh weekends, I like to relax and shit. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's all I'm say. Like I said, Marvel could do good if they do an R-rated movie. A movie doesn't have to be good to be be R-rated. I mean, it doesn't have to be R-rated to be good. Sorry, uh, but. I just think Marvel could use an R-rated movie. Like, y'all could just do one. Like, I know Deadpool 3 is supposed to be R-rated, and that's like Disney Marvel now. But yeah, I'm, I think another title could be good for them. Then y'all could go back to PG-13. Everybody, like, y'all need to do what the fans want. Everybody want a uh, rated R Marvel movie, bro. Anyways, I'm talking y'all head off. Have a good day.